Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Mr. 717 here with a review. Not an unboxing, but kind of an unboxing. But anyways, let's get to the stuff. I'm going to show you how to connect your iMac to your HDTV right over there. First things you're going to need is two things actually. You're going to need one of these, a rocket fish mini display port to HDMI adapter. You can see in the, see in the back how it will connect your HD from that end to the TV and then your Thunderbolt connection to your Mac this is Thunderbolt I believe so yep I think that's Thunderbolt whatever well, let's open it up so there's this wire it's got a little plastic piece that's covering it it up and then you got your HDMI right over here and the other port that connects to the computer so that's it pretty short compare it to the size of my hand yep and then what you're gonna need is a rocket fish it doesn't have to be rocket fish it can be any HDMI wire I got this HDMI wire which is a 1080p resolution and it is also 3D compatible it also actually has an ethernet port somehow connected this is six feet it's pretty long you can see yep alright folks so here's the back of the iMac is this also works on any Mac with the uh, Thunderbolt connection pretty sure that's what it is or no I'm sorry with the mini display connection not a Thunderbolt connection. Anyways, what you're going to want to do is grab this end, obviously, and plug it in. It goes right next to the Ethernet port. This way, there we go. Yep. Once you plug that in, you're going to want to grab your HDMI cord, and then obviously, plug it into the back of here. Let's see if you got that going. You're going to want to plug the other end into the TV. I'll be right back and show you how to do it. Alright folks, so the next step is going to be is to uh, connect the HDMI cable into the HDTV. Your computer has got to be an HDTV. Well, at least as it has a HDMI port. So what you're going to want to do is grab the cord and I'll show you right quick over here. UTV might have something like this on the side, an HDMI port on the side, or a lot of them on the back. As you can see, there's one right there. There's one, two, three, and then four. So here's what you're gonna wanna do. After you've plugged it in, you're going to want to change your source on the TV, HDMI 3, and bingo. Alright folks, so now what you're going to want to do is go to your iMac. Once you go to your iMac, you're going to want to go to System Preferences, System Preferences. Once you see System Preferences opened, you're going to want to go to Display, which is right there. Once you go to display, two windows are going to open. Ignore this one and go to this one. Once you go to this one, go to agreement. And then in the bottom, you're going to see mirror displays. Once you click mirror displays, the computer should go blue as well as that is for the TV. I've already done that to my Samsung TV right there. And now it shows both. Okay. First, it's not going to show them. It's going to actually show just the background of the TV. And then I'll eventually show this part, like your iMac on there. So now you can pretty much just open up anything and it'll show up on there. And folks, that's how you connect your HD TV to your iMac. And I hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. It was pretty simple. It's going to cost you around 20 bucks for the HDMI port in the States and 30 bucks in Canada. 
I mean, I'm sorry, for the uh, media display port and for the HDMI port, you can get it from 20 bucks to 80 bucks. And that's about it. I'm going to be making more videos very soon. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please comment, subscribe, and enjoy. Oh, and one more thing, folks. I believe that you can hear it through the TV as well. No, you can control it, though. That sucks. Let me see if I can change that somehow. Alright, let's go to sound. Once you are in your settings, sound, output, HDMI, Samsung, yep. Here's how you do it. You go to your settings, you go to sound, once you go to sound, you go to output on the top. You should see your TV name or the HDMI, as you can see, Samsung HDMI. Once you click that, you're done. And then you gotta click output to get there. So internal speakers would be the iMac, and HDMI would be the computer, I mean the uh, Samsung TV. Once you've done that, you can now pick an awesome song, like this one. Yes, I am going to put this on. And you're going to want to turn up your TV, obviously. Once you do that, you should be able to hear it. Yep. There you go. So you'll have that going. And if you have a surround sound system connected to the TV, you should be able to hear it out from there too. And that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And Mitchie717 is out. Thank you. Goodbye.